area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Don't rush me through this. Don't rush me through this. I got my water. I'm ready to go. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Salute to everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. There's some things I wanted to talk about today. I know known is today. It's going down. All of the battles that people have been talking about for the last couple months, they are going down today. Geechee Gotti versus Rum Nitty, $100,000 battle. Chilla Jones versus Tay Rock. T Rex versus Easy to Block. Captain Av versus Jada Nightwing. Danny Myers versus Real Sick. Mike P versus Luke Castro. B Dot versus DNA. On Reloaded, which will be aired tomorrow, but filmed today. Loso versus Jerry West. Fonz versus JC. I'll start there. I know a lot of people's like, oh, is that like a known PG? Is that a known crucible? Why are they airing on day two? First of all, I just named Mad Battles B. Y'all gotta be like 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 sometimes y'all gotta think of it like, bro, this is let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine battles right here. There's nothing wrong with a couple of battles being aired tomorrow. I, I tried to find the most minute reason. I know a lot of people's like, uh 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 Y'all not y'all are y'all not even going to sit there for no six, seven, eight hours and watch no battle rap anyway. You won't that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. You won't even be able to digest all of that. So the thing is, you got all these good battles today. Let them happen. Spend a block and watch two more tomorrow. I find nothing wrong with that. Loso and and Jerry West are still battling today. They're going to still be in the building. They're going to still be with Drake and all that. They're they going to still have the opportunity to shine. It just gets aired tomorrow. Don't worry. Hold on. Don't panic. Um, Swamp versus T-Top is not happening. I done heard mad different things about it. I heard that Swamp went live saying that he was ready, but his opponent wasn't ready. Then I was hearing that Swamp wasn't free. He got locked. All of this, though, I don't know. But what I do know is that um, it was a battle that a lot of people wanted to see. And it's highly unfortunate that it's not happening. Regardless of what the reason is, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, they can work that shit out. Summer Madness coming, maybe they can battle. Then the ball just keeps getting punted down the field with this battle. But I will not be one to put anything on anybody. I didn't hear from any of those people in particular. I just heard rumors. He said, she said, they said. And when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. So therefore, I'm not gonna do that. But I will go into my final predictions. Now, I've been right on some of these predictions. I've been wrong. And I figured that my pregame would be me just, you know, warming up. Because, like, most of the events that I've seen this year or I've covered this year or recapped, I've had to work. Like, I've literally worked, left work, went live, with like, running back and forth. But today, not today. I ain't got to go in that place today, so guess what? We're going to talk. We're going to talk. We're going to break this down every round that I've sketched about. So you got Fonz versus JC. Fonz is dope. Fonz has a super punch heavy style. Fonz is able to get into bags. Fonz lyrically, you know what I'm saying, he won a tournament. He's battling JC. And the JC that I've seen and I've known for years, like he takes pride in these newer guys. Like he brings his A game. You're not gonna see JC very often lose to a newer guy. I think the last newer guy that got him was Loso, and Loso's really not new anymore, but when it's like newer talent, he goes crazy, like JC, he be wild, he be cutting like whatever's behind me, it sounds like they're out there more, but anyway, um, JC, he, he be wilding on these newer guys, and I got it 1-1, but I got JC taking it third, um, I got JC winning this battle 2-1, if Fonz wins, y'all know how I do, if I get it wrong, I have no problem coming back and saying Fonz got it. I have Fonz putting up a good performance. I have Fonz with some fire punches. Because, you know, a lot of people like to compare Fonz to Av. And Av battled JC. And I had Av winning versus JC. So, a lot of the same, Don't if he switches up and stays true to who he is, Fonz, he could definitely make this uh, a hell of a fight. Um, Loso versus Jerry West. Um, Loso 
based off of some of his last performances, he's wilding right now. Like Loso is 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 in a different mode. Um, Jerry West, I seen Jerry West versus Swamp. Swamp had got that one. Um, Jerry West is gonna have to do. He's gonna tactically have to get better, like with the pen. I know the performance is there. I know he punches at a good rate. I think I seen him versus Brooklyn Carter, but I had that like 3-0 after the first round. That was when we go hard. And the crowds is back with the gas and shit. But I had Jerry West win. Um, but what I will say is this: uh, it would be a good win for Jerry West if he could pull it off. But going into it, leaning towards Loso 2-1. Loso is just in a different kind of bag right now. Um, B dot versus DNA. Oh man. Uh, last I seen from DNA, I believe that was versus Av. He beat Av. Uh, DNA is very hard to beat in these in these settings. Like DNA is like one of those guys that's predicated to to just breaking down opponents. Like he can get to whatever level. Like if he's battling a heavy puncher, he can go into the heavy punch land. If he's battling a lyrical MC, he can get into a lyrical battle with you. Like him versus Mickey Fax. Him versus other lyrical wars like Jay, that like, DNA is one of the hardest MCs to beat. Like when you think about it, bar for bar, rap for rap, DNA is one of the hardest MCs to beat. He's able to rebuttal, he's able to freestyle, he's quick on his feet, and I don't think he gets a lot of the respect that he deserves. B dot is fire too though. If B dot can find a proper angle on you and he's able to channel that angle into bars, metaphors, being able to lyrically break an opponent down. B dot was on a pretty good streak, you know what I'm saying? Until he got the chiller, he was on a pretty good streak. But chiller was beating everybody though, so it's kind of like that's not even really saying much. But he was definitely on a run. Him versus Saga was fire. Uh, him versus Nitty. He, a lot of people don't even give B dot the credit that he deserved when he beat Nitty um, and things like that. Uh, flip a coin. I got DNA two one. Uh, DNA is, is a very tough opponent. If beat I could beat him, like I said, I got no problem spinning the block and, and, re, and reiterating it. But what beat I can do to, to, to help his cause is if he gets out to an early start and gets a round up on DNA, if he gets a round up on him, he can definitely, uh, if he gets a round up on him, he can definitely split the last two. But uh, I think their battles will come down to the first round. Well, he gets the first. It's hard to see the next person losing two rounds in a row. That's just my personal opinion, though. Um, Av versus Jay the Nightwing. It's funny that they brought you here, Av. The pump will burst. Lay everything down on Av. That's construction work. Like, Jay the Nightwing is one of the most entertaining, one of the most charismatic characters that I've seen come across in Battle Rap for quite some time. See, the thing about Jay the Nightwing, he doesn't have the outward confidence where he's like, yo, I'm the, I, I dress the best, you know what I'm saying? I got the biggest chain on and all that other shit. But he has charisma. He has a cadence. He has something to him. And I remember um, Gerald McCoy was telling me about Jaden Knight when, when he first got started and said he would be one of the better new guys. I didn't see it when he first said it, but I see it now and I see why. And I understand what levels that Jaden Nightwing can go. He beat New Jersey Twerk. He's been in other battles where Jada Nightwing has been in his fucking bag. And I respect everything that he does, whether professionally, personally, whether he's on the internet. Um, he had a kid not too long ago and he's doing what he's doing. Av is one of the best punchers in battle rap. Av, when channeled in, he gets really, really busy in them small rooms. Jaden Nightwing, if he's going to be Av, he's going to need to pick up his flow. He's going to have to be in his bag. He's going to have to be able to combat the things that Av does well. Because what Av does well is punches, has good cadence. He's be able to use a lot of the um, current event bars that he's able to just flip into fire bars. He's able to name flip. Av is a demon with the bars, man. I'm leaning Av 2-1, but it's not a battle that Jaden Nightwing cannot win. Jaden Nightwing can definitely upend Av if he's on his A game. If Jaden Nightwing is on anything less than his A game, I got Jaden Nightwing winning. But going into it, I definitely have Av with a 2-1 in a fire battle, though. In a fire battle. Danny Myers versus Real Sick. I saw a lot of people talking about Danny Myers and Real Sick. Uh, this is going to be probably one of the battles of the night. It's going to be a war. Real Sick brings it every time he's on that stage, whether he's battling B-Magic, or Mike P, whether he was in um, the Store Legacy joints. Whenever you see him, you know Real Sick is going to bring you lyrical ability, a good cadence, he's able to hold his own, he's able to, uh, he, he, he commands a lot of presence, you know what I'm saying, because 
you know, he, 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 he works out, you know what I'm saying? So when he's in there, he's, he's breaking lyrics down, he's breaking people down, he's making the tall look small. That means something. Cadence, charisma, you know, presence, that all has something to do with battles. But the one thing about him, he's battling one of the best battle rappers in the world right now. Danny Myers is in a zone where he's been battling week after week after week, and there's no change in his armor. He 3 0 shotgun sugar, it looked worse on camera than it did um, when you first seen it. Like, it looked worse on camera. That was the crazy part. Sugar didn't, Sugar wasn't horrible, but Danny was just amazing. Like, Danny, he, he's able to bring it. He's gonna definitely have bars for real sick. He's not gonna give no great value bars. Like, when you get Danny Myers, you're gonna get the supreme version of him every time. He's not gonna water down his content. He's not gonna give you no, you know, the, the, the gun clicking like I'm trying to get extra gas and all that, like the pump clicking like I'm trying. He's not gonna give you none of those like BS bars. He's gonna bring you good bars, good cadence, rebuttals, and uh, I got this battle. Since Danny Myers, I, I was one of the ones that said Danny Myers had not lost a round all year. I don't think Danny Myers is gonna 3 0 um, real sick, but I do think Danny Myers is gonna win. I think Danny Myers is going to get this in a 2-1 winning in the first and the third round. That's just my prediction. Because Danny Myers has not lost in quite a while. I think his last real clear loss might have been Jerry West last time, some last year sometime. But uh, this run that he's on right now is one of them runs that when you think about it like a year or two and you look back, you're like, yo, he really battled this person, this person, this person. He got, uh, he had Arsenal. He has Reed Dollars in a couple weeks. It's only a one-rounder. He got real sick in between. And he's just doing it like consistently well. Uh, it's a battle that Real Sick can win, but going into it, like my, my favorite, like to win it one on one, is none other than Danny Myers with the 2 1. Mike P versus Luke Castro both promote themselves well. Mike P had a good battle in his last one with Real Sick. Luke Castro did very well in the 2 1 2. Both of these guys have high energy, uh, both of these guys have good cadences. Uh, Lou Castro has promoted himself well. He's got a video on BET now. You know, he's doing his thing. Like, he's really doing his thing for somebody who just came up within the last 18 to 20 months. Mike P, we all know what Mike P does from back in his battle with Daylight, uh, when he beat New Jersey Twerk. Like, Mike P is one of them MCs that he's not going to take off on. He's not going to slack on you. He's going to have a good cadence. He's going to have a lot of energy. He's going to be bar heavy. Uh, Lou Castro's going to have some shit too. I got this battle one one going into the third. I think the third I'm edging to Mike P. Um, in a 2-1. Close battle though. Uh, it depends, but I mean, Luke Castro can't steal this one. Easy the Black Captain versus T-Rex. Everybody keeps talking about T-Rex, you know what I'm saying, with the face-off, the shit that he be talking. Face-offs don't rap. Face-offs do not rap. The best shit talkers could be the best shit talkers. Um, I got Rex having a very good first round. I got Easy the Black Captain cruising after that. Um, first will be debatable. I have Easy the Black Captain winning the second and third pretty convincingly too because there's a wide disparity in what Easy the Black Captain does now and what Rex does now. What Rex did back in the past, we, I, I give him credit for it, you know what I'm saying? I got no issue with it. Like he did his thing back in the days and shit like that. But now, I, I really see this battle getting to a lot of a lot of talk in between round. And when that shit happens or if it happens, don't say I didn't tell you. Uh, I got Easy Black Captain winning this battle, clearly though. Easy Black Captain has battled better competition on URL like Danny Myers and, and shit like that. And he's, he's had debatables or beat them. So it's kind of like, I don't see it. Like if, if Rex does beat him, I got no problem jumping in front of this camera and saying, yo, this is what it was. But going into it, I got Easy Black Captain 2-1 um, if not 3 up. Tay Rock versus Chilla Jones. Um, we know what Chilla Jones has accomplished, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he he's definitely done his thing. He's been winning. He's been on a streak. His last battle was versus K Shine. Yeah, he beat K Shine 3 0. Uh, Tay Rock was very quiet in his face off. He, he seems focused. He seems like he's going to be in a bag. Uh, Chilla Jones is just one of them MCs that punch for punch, line for line. Like he beat, he beat a lot of dope MCs. Chilla beat a lot of dope MCs. And I don't know if he gets the credit that he deserves in a lot of these battles, you know what I'm saying? Like, he be wilding on people. And when you watch it on the watch back, the shit be looking even crazier. This nigga Chilla Jones is gonna really, he gonna show out. Uh, Tay Rock, uh, pressure busts pipes, pressure makes diamonds also. He's been under a lot of pressure recently. He had one of his better performances versus Daylight in a battle that people gave Daylight 
but then he beat Averb 3-0. He had the Mook battle. He had the two-on-two. -two. Uh, Rock seems hella focused in this one. I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to take Rock 2-1. Chilla Jones gets him up out of here. Y'all know how I do. I will come right back on here. And I got no problem because it's going to be recapped. And I feel like Butterfly going to recap this. You know what I'm saying? That's for me. So that's how I do. I'm going to recap it anyway. So this is just a preview. Um, Geechee Gotti versus Rum Nitty. Um, both MCs had a different road to the $100,000 battle. Uh, it's dope to see these guys in the position that you'd be making this kind of money. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of fucking money. It's generational money. Like that, that that's the type of bread that you could start doing some some serious things with. A lot of people is never gonna see hundred thousand dollars at one time in their life, and to be able to be in a battle for it is a great thing. Um, I have this battle being a war. I have it being a debatable. I have Gishi Gatti has more star power, more sazon to the season, and he can win votes and polls. It's gonna be hard to be Gishi Gatti in votes and polls. But I do have them splitting the money. The way they seem, EFB, the way the energy is towards each other, I definitely have them. I think it's going to be a split. It'll probably be, I'm thinking, maybe 60-40. If I win the battle, I take 60. I give my man 40. Like I just feel like, and I feel like they're going to split it. Because that's the way they're carrying with each other. They don't really got beef. They're in the same crew. They EFB. Both of them have worked just as hard. Let's, let's show up. Bring our A game. Let's have a war. Let's go in the backyard like some brothers and fight. But I feel like they're gonna split it. That's just the energy that I feel. And um, overall, I do like Noam um, a lot too. I think it's about an eight or nine out of ten because we the same people who be wanting the newer cats to get a shot. The newer cats get a shot, and everybody wants to complain. Like you can't. Like what do you want? You want the old vets to be on there, the ones that ain't showing up for three rounds, the ones that stumbling, that's fumbling through their bars, or do you want to see newer talent that you know? I get. I can tell you this: ain't gonna be a lot of chokes. Ain't gonna be a lot of stumbles, ain't gonna be a lot of fuck ups. I can guarantee you that much. Other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. You know, if you if you salute, if you respect the handle, subscribe to the channel. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. Gang gang.